Before Twin Cities Rise, the longest job I've had was, like I think I was only there for like two years. My self-confidence and then my whole work ethic and my attitude toward learning was really, really off. And I think that's what kept me from maintaining and keeping a job, but I knew that I had to, I had to try something. What brought me to Twin Cities Rise was I kind of had gave up on myself because of some things that happened with my two older boys when they were younger. Um, and my boys, um, like my boys are my world. Like they're my reason for breathing, they're my reason for everything that I have and everything that I do. They are everything, you know, honestly, I wouldn't even know how to live if I didn't have them. My two older boys' dad was abusive, like he was physically abusive, and it took me seven years to get out. Like I didn't really know what to do with myself at the time. I went through a lot of stuff during that time, and I had to see a therapist, and like they were labeling me as a bad mom, and I just, like, I felt like a really horrible person. I started working with Paula in 2008, and uh, she had the two most beautiful little boys. And she walked in broken, lacking confidence. And I just wanted to take up under my wings. So I had an investment in Paula. I wanted her to succeed. And I remember sitting in our old office in the conference room and her case manager at Hennepin County told her that she would never be anything. Nobody would marry her. And she's going to have a bunch of babies. And I thought to myself, how dare somebody say that to you? And I just remember us sitting in that room crying because I couldn't believe a person whose job was to help you navigate would say something like that. And it broke my heart. And I knew at that very moment there was so much work that needed to be done because you're going to prove him wrong. So we knew we had work to do. And we first started with her believing in herself. You're none of those things that he just said. So here we are, six years later. Paula has been on her job. Paula had another baby. Paula bought a home. That's resilience. That's a conqueror. That's a person who didn't let her circumstances keep her down and she never looked back. And all I can say to Paula is, you did that. Twin Cities Rise really brought a lot out of me. Like it allowed me to grow in so many ways. I didn't even think I could. But Twin Cities Rise gave me the opportunity and the ability to believe in myself and to allow me to be me and to be more open, knowing that it was okay to be myself and bring the best me forward. I'm going to continue to grow and I'm going to continue to do me and um, take care of my kids. And Twin Cities Rise really was the starting point for all of that. <laughs>